So, this is Shovel Knight. I played this a long time ago, just a little bit. And I've forgotten everything about it. So, I mean, do I... This is my old adventure of it. I wonder... I guess I'll select it. Let's see where I am. I don't know, maybe I... Maybe I won't need a uh, tutorial refresher. Oh, the Joker's been up for like 18 hours. Wow. Wait a minute. 18 hours. But is it still... Uh, are you in my time zone, though? Because you've been up for 18 hours and you're in Pacific time. That means you got up at... Like yesterday at... Yesterday at dinner time. Okay, okay, as well. Let's, um... Shield Knight. Alright, so it looks like I probably... Alright, I've got a shovel. I can kill things with my shovel. I love it because I got a shovel, like... I don't know, it, just, it, it suggests certain interactions that uh, you don't do in other games. Oh, well. I thought there was some kind of way to... Oh, that's what it was. You poke the shovel downward by pulling down on the stick. That's right. I don't know if I'm getting anything out of uh, attacking these same bugs again and again, so... Eh, I guess a little bit of money, right? Can I shovel in the air? Can. <laughs> Dude, ain't excited for playing a real game. Like the games of our youth. Okay, apparently I do remember how to play this. What was this, though? Is that a checkpoint? I think it's interesting that Brian is so into this game, considering that he's a decade younger than me, if not more. And uh, I don't know at what age this kind of game was popular for him. Hello? Oh, what the? Can I just do this? Oh, there we go. I don't like to stay up here. I'm good. There we go. Nice. Get the sense that wasn't actually much of a boss. Hey there, Brian's here. I just defeated a dragon. Did you jump on his head a whole bunch of times? I did jump on his head a whole bunch of times. Congratulations, you won. I like yes, the jump on a dragon's head test. I like the uh, the fact that once I shovel bounce on something, it just lets me keep shovel bouncing. Yeah, that's apparently from uh, Ducktales, where uh, you can oh, do really that, you could do that with a cane. So shovel knight, uh, hello everybody. Um, shovel Look, it's knight Brian. Is this bizarre and wonderful melange of old game ideas, uh, and the coolest, rarest thing about it is that a bunch of people thought, how do we take these things that were fun for us as kids and put them into a game that is, is has modern sensibilities, is reasonable with respect to the player's time, is difficult in as much as the player wants it to be difficult, and also makes sense, and doesn't have stuff like no save points, or like tons of loading screens, or is weirdly slow. So, uh, so I, I think is, I am things. playing with an old uh, profile of mine that I found. Sure. Uh, apparently I have played this before. Uh, but it started me at the beginning of the game, though. And so, did it not have a save point? So, you might not have beaten the first level? Oh, so, so it saves you beating levels, so but there's, not... There's checkpoints within the level. Okay, I, I've hit one checkpoint so far. I think when you die, you'll always go back to that checkpoint, and then your All money, right. some fraction of your dollars will be flying in the air where you last died. Gotcha. Um, one of the coolest things about Shovel Knight is that um, their checkpoint system is very interesting, in that you can kill a checkpoint for money. And then it's not there anymore, but you get a bunch of points to go do whatever you want with. Hello, Trugan. 
Rogan? Uh, X Rogan was what I've been calling this person, yeah. but uh, I don't know. Yeah. So lots, lots of fun times with the Bouncy on this particular level. Of boxing. Uh, you see a little X in a circle sort of on the top wall up there? Uh, right. yes. That is the thing you can hit to reveal secrets. Oh, okay, cool. Um, a whole lot of I didn't know that. like tucking secrets in. There we go. Is this, is this a meal? My lunch. Oh, uh, yes, it is. I also had lunch. Uh, that's a Castlevania reference. Uh, you could, like, find secret fully cooked chickens under stairs because Japan in the 80s. And they fall hill you. So in this game, you find like little tiny dinner containers, as you would see in a super fancy restaurant. That I don't think it actually does that anymore, um, or like a room service container thing. Um, yeah. And most of the time, it's chicken. Sometimes it's a bomb. So that's true. Uh, don't don't hit it by accident. That would suck. Oh, you only have to hit it once to take uh, it out. Like not too many times. It's, I've accidentally blown them up once or twice. But once you realize that happens, you get kind of tired of doing that. Uh, that dragon's probably. There for you oh, that, I tool. probably needed to. What the, What happened? Not sure what do. For some reason, I lost focus on the screen and it paused. Okay. Cool. Yeah, I probably did need that dragon. You're right. I mean, you can make it work without it. There's, there's a, it's just a little harder. A secret on the right we just skipped. Ah, there's one here. We, ah! <laughs> the game wants to surprise you. Uh, I got to talk to the devs on this at PAX a couple years ago, and they were. Uh, one of the level designers on this actually pinch hit for another indie game's levels because they needed some help and those guys were just super chill. Um, he definitely made it clear that they want to do a lot of exactly that, where they tell you a secret was there and try to get you to figure out how to get back to the secret. Um, huh. You should just attack walls sometimes to see what happens. Because sometimes that's what happens. Here, take some rocks to the face. Those are, those are just, I don't think it ever actually hurts it, but there was money in there. <laughs> What? Oh, I thought, no. thought there might have been something. Um, yeah, this so sometimes they mark the walls you can blow up, and sometimes they don't. Yeah, there's like degrees of secrecy. The Joker says that uh, he's always liked uh, arcade-like graphics, and yeah, the um, it's funny because people make fun of me because I play play so many games that are pixelated. Uh, people in the chat, uh, there's a few people who who do not like them and find them irritating. And so we get into this, like, kind of like, no friendly war over it, but... The, the, the our epic graphics have a good idea, Diatribe. So, um, the guys in this game actually very particularly chose to give themselves the color constraints of the oh, original, like, NES. People usually don't do that. They'll but pixelate a game. super hardcore about it. Yeah, people will usually, they'll pixelate a game, but they... Aw. But they won't, they'll keep a lot of the things you can do, like, they'll, yeah. they'll, you'll, they'll have, like, a, a game that's pixelated, but there's, like, modern shadows in it and stuff like right, that. Right, so there's a weird little contrast. Keep an eye out. Oh, my gosh! For pits in the ground that just jump out from nowhere. Uh. So, uh, one of the things that these guys did is, like, look, look at the color palette of the level. It's actually usually very constrained. Ow, why'd they do that? Like, they gave themselves a very small amount of choices they can make about what the ground should look like. That guy was hiding behind the grass. That wasn't, that wasn't cool. Game mechanic or Z fighting? You decide. <laughs> All right. So I was actually pretty impressed at how you know, man ow, how manageable the uh, air control was. So I could have landed on that platform properly if I had you know not sucked, but I did suck. So alas. Return the game shelter. I feel like we talked about shelter. Ah, uh, uh, yeah. Uh, was that the that was the one that we're like in a bunker with your family? I think so. Not, not this war of mine, which also was sort of that. Yeah, and, and not basement, which is involves a bunker into your house, but uh, also in involves which, drugs. In which one is called the war? Yeah. Let's yeah. check that out. But uh, yeah, no, uh, we have played that before. I think I've got. Uh, I think if you look for it on my YouTube channel, I think we've eventually got. We've got a, a playthrough that. My, I, don't, I don't know. Maybe Brian was even there. Maybe I can't promise that. Probably, playing the odds. Probably Ian was there for shelter. I think so. So there's definitely a secret on the left. So these guys are definitely like they're they're playing with a lot of old tropes. Right? This this is this is from a there's a kind of level design that went into things back in the days where this kind of game is from. Where you design a screen. Right? The, the room and the screen were sort of the same thing. You would design units of content in terms of screens because that was just the way things work. And you Oh no! First you remember to jump. I did remember to jump, I just jumped slightly too late. Alas. So when one gets to the edge of the screen, it like slides over Ugh. and loads the next chunk of content. Oh, I gotta go so all the way back. Like 
Uh, uh. Oh, yeah, I, know. I played uh, Fury this morning and had a lot of fun actually though. I was lucky and I, why did I not prepare for that? Uh, I was lucky in that I managed to beat both of the bosses that I fought, fought because uh, if I had not beaten them um, on the first try, I would have had to replay the entire boss because they do not have checkpoints of any kind. Uh, well, I mean, super frustrating. Not, not within a boss battle, anyway. And the boss battles are long. I mean, the whole game is like a series of, I don't know, like, seven or eight boss battles. Let's just keep bouncing like this until... Oh, ah, oh, you... works in actually Sure. Oh, wait, look at this. I missed that before. Do it again on that next wall. Like, go all the way back down there and spot the left side again. Okay. I'm sneaking suspicion there's more. Oh, uh, no, there's no... Secret anus there on the wall. It does kind of look like a little it like is rock sphincter. Yeah, it's yeah, it's, it's a rock anus. What's going on in the chat? Let's see. Uh, generally, secrets have some of the hardest platforming in a level. That's true. Oh um, no! If you had the gumption to find a secret area, the designers were like, Ah, I see you give a shit. Allow me to respond to that by giving you super hard platforming challenges. You will probably fail a bunch of times. But they also had stuff like there's there's music back there occasionally, like giant piles of money. I think in a couple of cases, there's like characters. Um, that's actually usually how you find like the items in this game that give you new powers are often by finding secrets that are sometimes not that secret. Yeah, I, yeah, I played a game. What was the game I played recently where I was kind of surprised that? Oh, it was uh, it was Seraph. They hide the like the checkpoints that let you jump ahead in the game to start at a certain level. Mm -hmm. Those checkpoints are all secrets. Huh? Well, they're they're, they're like. There's secrets and they're hidden behind, like, you, you unlock the door and you have to run to get into the door. Hmm. Th often so like through a, a bunch like of enemies. Like a switchy challenge to get to checkpoints? Yeah, to, to have a checkpoint at all. Weird. Yeah, that it's was crazy. Questionable decision, I guess. But, I mean, it's the kind of game they're making, you know, so. Yeah. I have no quarrel with you. you. must return the Tower of Fate. Your time has dulled your senses, can't you see? This entire valley has been conquered by the Enchantress and her invisible knights of the Order of No Quarter. Stand, the order of no quarter. Yes. Stand between you and the whatever, but none of that matters because anyone after the enchantress has to go through me. Steal thy shovel. Lots of shovel cuts. Always shovel cuts. Also, you're definitely looking at the last level in the background there. Oh, yeah. Man, this guy's like the anti shovel knight. Oh, no! No, he has no. a shovel. He's, he's just a different shovel knight. Oh. <laughs> Apparently, um, this is maybe one of the craziest, ridiculousest secrets in this kind of game. Now, if you name your character Butt Butt, I believe Ow. it replaces all instances of the word shovel with butt. You could really? The, like the developers were making fun of themselves for the amount of times the word shovel shows up in this game. That's pretty amazing. Oh no! Ah, the boss has more life than me. You can tell a boss is meant to be easy. One of his attacks is stand there and laugh and use him to get. Uh, I don't think the so I can hit him thing is very successful. <laughs> this is the sort of game where, like, since it's only... You have a very narrow set of controls and movements that you actually use in this game. And so as you get better at any <gasps> one fight, you're actually getting Woo! better at the whole game in a significant way. Oh, yeah, that makes you, sense, you can yeah. swap his purple fireballs back at him. I did not know that. Someone just said it, or Cloudcrap said it exactly ah. as you won. Hello, Crowd. Ah, ah. It's fine, you're you gonna fight him. You're gonna fight him, no! like, two more times. The whole more. game is... Lost now no, because no, he got that, away. He's, he's just like Proto Man. He's just kind of an anti hero thing. Don't worry about him. Oh, chilling in my camp. Oh, I'm gonna go to sleep mm -hmm. and have a dream sequence. Maybe. Hope I have a dream sequence. Yes. Oh. Is that my shield knight? Is that, that shield knight, that... The, the significant other of yours who was lost a long time ago and whom you missed dearly? Catch her. It seems like she was here. No! Catch, 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 catch. Yay! What happens if I don't catch her? Does it matter? I think it's like, it matters in subtle ways that are hard to tell from the first time you see it. Okay. Dark travel night escapes. It, oh, oh, I can jump. I think no. if you hit the fire in the middle, you get stuff. <laughs> Seed accomplished only, only you. you can prevent forest fires. Oh! Remember to stop I thought, it, I thought it was a reference to the song, Only You. Oh, no, that was definitely a Smokey the Bear thing, because you put out your fire when before you left camp. That makes sense. So, also, this screen! Yeah, I know, this right? Screen, they made 
this screen again! <laughs> this is this is the Mario World screen, like almost verbatim. And now we're in the Zelda 2 town. Halt! No weapons! We have enough to worry about lately without everyone swinging swords around. Oh, haha. Oh. <laughs> That's no weapon, just a shovel. It's just a shovel. There. Press That's up to talk to, to everyone. everyone. So we went hey, from oh. like a 2D platformer level hey, Link. to the Mario World map to the 2D Zelda town. Dear, Dear lady. lady. It's very <laughs> self-aware in that way. Are you too short for me? Maybe lady Knight. Nice. <laughs> I dig it. I, I, I dig it. So many shovel fun to get it. I love living in a village. It's the best. Hail, traveler. I'm at a simple bar, but I have a big problem. I lost all my music sheets. We're doing repertoire. Music. Sorry, everybody. Da, 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 da. Woo! You have a music sheet. Also, note the animated text. Yeah, oh, yeah. That's why I said it like that. Yeah, yes. That's a, this. Okay, I am staggered by how effective these text boxes are at communicating character. <laughs> Sometimes way more effectively than 3D animated characters. <laughs> okay, and then who are you, lady? Ooh, you've Molly. got a pretty face. You should come visit often. All right. Oh, they... you gotta talk to that guy because you gotta see his name. This guy? No. Gastronomer. All of them. Talk to all of them. Potagen Poultry. He's like an astronomer, but about stomachs. Mutton and meat, your maximum health will it's increase if you eat. Yeah. Bring a meal ticket on Whip of a Feast. Gotitian. That's <laughs> that. <laughs> oh. right. no, that hey, Gotitian. That. Ah, decisions, decisions. Should I extend my magic or health? Should I eat a tin can? Why not buy my meal ticket and help narrow my options? Yes. Yeah. Sure. Accomplished first purchase. Yay. I don't know why we're just gonna take the drum today. I, I... Here you go, I'll dazzle your palette. I kind of want to use the names of these characters for blah 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 blah. <laughs> should, yeah, should there be a uh, like a trait in our game called Gastronomer? Right? Or Gotitian? Right? <laughs> Like, I kind of yes. think we have to do this now. Point oh one. All seven of these people will appreciate 0 .01 it. Point oh one weight in the random uh, number exactly. generator. Exactly. <laughs> Someone says Gotitian and they're like, don't ask me what I do. You don't want to know. Yeah. Should I Yeah. Should I eat food or just a tin can? Uh, I just assist, of course. What more out of your relics? Uh, I don't know what any of this is. I probably haven't used this feature yet. Yeah, you don't have any items to use magic for yet. Oh, hello, people. Who are you? Juice made. Dance. Ooh, that Spectre Knight. Oh, woe is me, the king of nothing, not to rule but my lone bar stool. King Knight sits on Prince Moore's throne, that gilded goon. He'll get his soon. So, I've never said this before, I may never say it again, but your ridiculous voices are absolutely perfect for this game. <laughs> like, like Thank you. on the nose. <laughs> Grandma, Grandma Swamp? <laughs> Double trouble, soil and shovel. My soil and shovel. No, just keep, just keep going, just keep going. My right. third eye knows your useless infos. Escavatio. The number of dig piles you've dug is six. Arm in Infiniosa. The amount of gold you've collected is 5130. Thanato refutatum. The number of times you've fallen in battle is two. Temporum petura. Perpetua. Total time you've spent a bit. Okay, I don't care anymore. I don't care. Okay. You I want... said thank you. You said I don't need your help, witch. And she said, I'm not a witch. I'm, I'm your wife? No. Wait, wait, go back and go to the right. What? Oh, there's a right? Yeah. Oh, there's a right. Totally a right. Croaker. Hey, you shovel knight. I know things are tough, but don't throw in the trowel. Great. Also, uh, Croaker is Lewis. Troopal, oh, yeah. <laughs> Hello, fish friend. Yeah, you got All hail the Truple King. Definitely talk. It's, I think it's Trouple. Trouple? Trouple Trouble. King. Yeah. Hail the, the king of fruit and fish. Long may his stem grow. All right. So th there's, a, there's an absurdity that <laughs> games from this era were comfortable with that we all sort of gave up on as a business, and I really hope we can find it again because this is an excellent example of how hilarious and lovely. Fishing rod? Can I use that? You probably will want both of those things. Yeah, you can actually fish in any pit that would kill you and find items in there. Fish so hold up and press X. Cast into a pit and wait for a bite. Uh, then, then I think this is on every platform by now. <laughs> like, <laughs> hey, what's this guy doing? I, I want to get Brant to do that dance at our next official stream. Yes. Hey, blue guy, you wouldn't believe the merchandise I've got for you today. So Chester sells you all of the items you can get that are full powers. 
and you find him hidden in chests and dungeons all the time. Nice. Like, he always got there so before name, you, and then sells Chester. it to you. Yeah, Chester, because he's in chests. So, th so they wanted you to spend resources for the stuff you find at level, and so they came up with a ridiculous justification for it. Awesome. Yep. So, up and X. Uh, you throw, wait, so, wait, so with, both of those are up and X. Do I only have one item at a time? Correct. You have oh, to equip it. There's a, there's a pause screen where you can switch the thing you have equipped. Uh, options? Feats? Uh, other pause screen. Ah, that this one. one. Ah! All right. Mm. Hmm? What? Hey, music! So you can go to the that bard, a, and he will buy those off of you. That was a, yeah, that was a different looking uh, wall anus than we've been using before. I prefer the term wall sphincter. Wall sphincter. <laughs> he's doing his happy dance. Ooh, we have a music sheet! Please accept 500 gold! Wonderful! Let's see here. Oh, you found the local happenstance. That's the guy was Bard from the Juice Bar. What are you, some kind of bard tender? Now that I have this music sheet, I can perform it for you any time. Ah. So if you haven't figured it out yet, this game has like an extraordinary amount of heart and character in it. Yeah. Like, like the degree of which you basically don't see anymore. And for me, this was a reminder of, oh, right. We, we can do this. Like, this is a thing games can do well. And a source of happiness for people that we all sort of bailed on in the 90s. Whoa, well, the kid. I just... Maybe. Yeah, he did. Now she's gonna run back again. <laughs> Hedge farmer, are you really the shovel knight? Prove it by digging up this dirt. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Holy crap! Wow, incredible! You really are shovel knight. <laughs> Whoa, it's Bojack Horseman. Uh, a little bit. Try fishing. Okay, we're gonna fish. We're gonna. I wouldn't even call this a parody. This is the, um, this game is a lot better than the games it's make, it's paying homage to in terms of polish and, like, UX and design consideration. Um, it's just a really good game in a really old style. I think you can actually stand on the milkmaid's back. There you go. And you can oh! You can jump on the platforms and then you can get to the top of the chest there. Oh, that's nice. But I gotta go you sell that again. It's right there because it's the same color as the wall. Oh, you're right. Hey, milkmaid. Come here. I think you actually can steer her. She goes to the back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think she's moving randomly. Towards the it might just she might just always go towards the chest. There we go. Chest! Well oh, all Ooh, the things! All the things. Okay, let's go sell that sell that thing that I have. Mm -hmm. Oh, that guy is so happy! Mm -hmm. He's so happy! They're doing the day and say, awesome, so my Uber console will be alternating between Yo's, our game, <laughs> Skyrim, and an 8-bit parody. <laughs> yeah. I, I, yeah, one of my favorite things about having such powerful consoles is how, you know, a lot of the best things we're coming up with now are things that don't actually need all of that power. <laughs> you just sort of have to get over the excitement of the power to recognize that sometimes the best thing you can make is not the thing that maximally utilizes horsepower. All right, all right, so I want, I want to move on because I want to play, play some Shovel Knight. I mean, I guess if you keep I know this right. is this is core to the experience of Shovel Knight. I realize that, but it. Uh, oh, I think if you bounce, yeah. I think you can actually do it three times in like weeks. Oh, I. Oh, Probably I want to do that did. though. No. Okay, yeah, playing kid. Bag fellow, head to the juice bar for some juice. Shovel Knight, many trials await you. Don't despair. Each defeat will strengthen your resolve. He's Excellent. Just sort of like a generic fantasy character that doesn't really do anything. Let's go get defeated so we can strengthen our resolve. Pretty much. Get um, digging. Definitely go back left the first time this level starts. What? Is this like the original clever Easter egg thing? Is just going left at the start of a level? There's right, sparkles. So a things. Those sparkles mean you can fish there. Do I just wait? I think so. There. Hit, hit buttons. Aw. Oh, do I have to hit buttons? Okay. I think you have to hit X again and that happens. All right. Yeah, we're having fun. I got a fish. It's money. It's a fish money. Money fish. Uh, go hit the giant gold wall on the top. Wait, I gotta, I gotta knock these heads around. Sure. The giant gold wall, you mean from the side? Yes. I think you have to do it from that bottom, right? Run right up its back. Right. It's the logo of the devs, because you're in the first level. Yay. <laughs> 
Yacht Club Games, so there's your giant golden yacht on the wall. Oh, this is going to be harder than going this way was. Yep. So we were talking earlier about, like, constrained palettes. Look at how few colors are on the screen in the background right now. <laughs> yes, The sky really. is only purple. The castle you can stand on is only gold, and the castle you can't is only green. Have you seen uh, Mark Ferrari's work? Uh, he's, yeah. a, he's a pretty uh, respected pixel artist. He's, a, he's working with um, uh, Ron Gilbert right now on Thimbleweed Park. Cool. Uh, bumped into him at, at PAX, but he uh, he would take these like 16 color palettes yeah. and use, 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 oh crap, and use only um, uh, like color cycling and stuff to do crazy effects like a blizzard or oh, yeah. like, like, like use, fireflies. Like, back and forth between two colors. Uh, there were an insane amount of tricks that people came up with back when hardware forced us to make games this way, to make them look cool anyway. Yeah, I remember, I think, I, don't, I wonder if he was involved in Loom at all, or, like, I remember there's some really beautiful stuff that happened in Loom. Yeah. And for what's worth, this game is not by Nintendo. This was a bunch of indie devs that just spent forever on something that they cared a whole lot about. Uh, I think it was a Kickstarter originally. Um, there's actually other campaigns where you can play through the entire game as one of the bosses with a whole new set of mechanics for gear. Like, you can play the whole game as Plague Knight, who is, like, the second or third boss. And he, like... Did he, did he have to play all the levels differently? Yeah, yes. He has different ways of navigating spaces. He has equipable kits that change up what your moves do. I mean, I imagine that he had to, like... They had to go through and... They had to, like, rebuild most of the game to do it, like, have that work. And they're actually doing it again for Propeller Knight. That might actually be done already if somebody in chat wants to check. So Cloudcraft says, I like a lot of Nintendo stuff, but I also hate how they don't seem to keep design notes on little details in a franchise like Legend of Zelda or Pikmin. Um, I promise you that everybody who's ever made a Zelda game at Nintendo has thought really hard about how it fits with all the other Zelda games they've made. Nintendo's one of those few companies that will take a franchise and ask themselves, what should we do to keep this franchise relevant and fresh and interesting, and how can we change it up this time? Uh, Final Fantasy is another game that kind of does that, whereas like Halo might be one that doesn't. Like some franchises <laughs> labor to change themselves up and take some risks. It don't always pay off. That's definitely a thing you can think. Um, Boom. So I, th I think it's less about people forgetting what made Zelda good, quote-unquote, and more asking themselves, how do we change Zelda in a way that doesn't betray people's expectations, but keeps things fresh and interesting and allows them to continue to be excited about it as they would for any new game. Oh no, he learned how to block upwards. So it looks like I can't do the same direction twice in a row. I think you have to wait for him to start charging. Ah, uh, gotcha. Ow! There we go. I have two of the horses. Oh, Close. Oh yeah, that was the only way to get up there. Oh. Will, they, will they come back? If you go back, yeah. Oh! It doesn't work as well that way, but you can do it. Right. Oh! You can go left, left, and then right. There you go. Now swap, yeah. swap that wall. Oh, swap. Ah. Eventually, you just develop this instinct of like, any time you get hit everything. Mm -hmm. Basically, yeah. It's, it's almost like Zelda and Pots. Like, you just start attacking literally. Watch out for those chandeliers. It's gonna ruin all the surprises. That's fine. Less, less replaying. I'm, I'm happy with that. The trick with these is you can actually jump on them if you time everything perfectly. Oh. Like that! I'm glad you told me that. See, you're just making everything better, Brian. Aw, I tried really hard, but... So I wonder if you can figure out what happens with that thing on the left. I probably need to stand in it? <laughs> I don't know, I guess I'll have to find oh. out. Get into the platform part is back to the patch. Ah! Wait for it. Oh, uh, what? So if you play through that segment as Plague Knight, he contorts himself hilariously. Uh, it's it's still a shovel knight shaped hole in <laughs> Not the same person, so he just looks super uncomfortable. Wow. And here is Chester. Oh, whoa, hey, Chester. <laughs> You're not going to believe what's in this chest. And he sells it to you. Yep. Flare wand. Yeah. This is like a little Mega Man gun that comes with Up and X. Shoot blasts. Blast things. Okay, great. 
what Clubcraft says. Also, it does occasionally feel like Nintendo is doing innovation purely for innovation's sake within a franchise. Um, on the hardware side, they definitely do that. Like, the 3DS having 3D, and the DS having two screens, and the Wii U having also two screens. Uh, Nintendo likes to try- Ow! Ow! Oh, no! Make hardware that, like, has some interesting reason why you want to play on it. And you gotta give them points for trying, even if it doesn't always pay off the way they hope. There's definitely cases where it feels like you're trying a little too hard or going too far, but I'd rather, and I think we'd all benefit more from a world in which people are trying to innovate too often than not often enough. I don't know, I, I don't think I want that stuff. Sometimes you do have to realize that, like, you're just gonna lose more of your money trying to recover your money. <laughs> yeah. I think you can actually hit their last back, too. Instead of Luigi, Kamehameha, guys. It's more than stupid. Did you say Kamehameha like the King of Hawaii? No, like this Dragon Ball Z attack. Oh, okay. Which is also named the same thing as the King of Hawaii. Okay. Well, a nice parallax in those windows. Yeah, I think a lot of good parallax timing stuff. Mm, so I think I want to not destroy all of those platforms. That's sometimes the right answer. You need to actually use them to jump. Wow, there we go. So I only swat it into the roof, so I can't just knock it back. Right. Can That's I do it one more time? <laughs> nice. I love how he just like, dives and it just rummages like yep. crazy. He's very spirited about... Like, from a certain point of view, this game is about digging through chests and getting all the monies. What would it be like to live in a world like this, where it's just the world is just full of untapped treasures and things like that? Just... I think you have to do a lot of mental gymnastics to contrive a reason for why. And I'm not sure that those reasons are ever- Ow, what the crap! He's kind of tough. Stand slightly like, there and just wait for him to attack. No, not there. No, sorry. I didn't believe you, but I should have. So he just does this sort of sine wave thing. Shoot two blasts and then his mouth closes and his tail goes and you've got like that little window to run up and smack him in the face one time. Oh yeah, you could use fireballs here. Oh yeah, fireballs. Yeah. <laughs> that was risky. Oh, I'm all out. Oh yeah, now you're in there. Now you're just gonna have to run up and smack him in the face with a shovel. You know he's dying because of the explosions. Also, he emitted a chicken. Don't he <laughs> emitted a chicken. So you can land on these guys oh. on the top, and sometimes that helps you navigate spaces. Also, those are rats with propellers. propellers. For some reason. Don't, don't worry about it. It's not, it's not important. Oh yeah, I bet I wanted to use them to get up there. Uh, you still have three of them, and they do just pack towards you. Like your AI is like, wait a second, move too far. Oh, I, I do stop. need to bounce, huh? Yeah. Now yeah, get the there. Ooh, nice. Boop boop, indeed. Quote of the day. Boop. Now you're now you're thinking correctly. That that one might not have been, but there's this weird rule where if something is about two and a half times oh. your height, you should hit it and see if money comes out. So I'm kind of disappointed by the value of having taken the high road there. Hit that thing on the top? I'm trying to. Yeah. I don't think you have access to all the different upgrade mechanisms yet, but there comes a point where you start to really value dollars. There's a, there's a forge where you can buy armor that costs like five to eight thousand. You can like change up your armor for different uh -huh. benefits. Ow! Yay! Nope. <laughs> Again, like classic old school jokey stuff, right? Like they put flag in front of it, and so they're making gameplay out of the fact that you can't then, actually then, know what's behind there. And there's like this one has got a wall. That one doesn't. It's like it's intentionally inconsistent. Like that one, you could break. I think the right side of the big gold bricks on the top has, has a thing. All right, let me just get this first. It does sort of become this methodical money collection game. Yeah. Like, let me go extract all the dollars out of all the levels. Yeah. So, yes, yeah, oh, so all the, 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 the What are you talking about? Oh, that? Time? I described spaces on screen, yeah. 
There we go. All right. So, but it's. I feel like you know. I went. I ran to the right, which is what you do in these games. Yep. And I'm done running to the right once, now. So as a rule, once you go into a secret area, you might not. Oh, this was still a right. secret area. Okay. This is just a big secret area. Oh yeah, that's right. There's no other way. Okay. I thought there was another way in on the left side, on the lower left, and so I was like, oh, I just assumed that I didn't make any progress or whatever. Oh, right. No. Yeah, the actual way out of this area is down from the area you're just in. Go back to the right, and you jump on some well glued together dirt blocks. Um. Jump. Oh, I tried. I did my best. What time is it? It is 12.36. Oh, plenty of time. Uh, I don't feel any particular desire to beat that guy. There's a weird money glob on the wall. Yeah. Check one. All right, so these are... Um, um, do <laughs> the book is a mechanic. Um, jump on it, and then a bunch of platforms will show up, and then we've got a timer to use them. Oh, neat. Uh, I don't want to do it yet, because there's a thing over here. Yay. More secrets. The game is like it's like 80% secrets. Yeah, I'm just saying, like, what is the cubic footage of the secrets in this game? You, you might, okay, so not 80%, but like maybe 60% of all the level space total is secrets. So now I have to like try and manage the drop perfectly. Or, oh yeah, kind of tricky. These guys do a really good job of like exhausting a very finite set of mechanics to make as many interesting little moments as we can. Ah, that was close. Nice. There we go. I don't care about those gems. I definitely died on this spot like four times before I got it. <laughs> the first time. It's because it doesn't look like it's that hard, but like, it seems like kind of thing somebody would just almost just create by accident, just like, ah, let's this try this, yeah. and not even realize what was going to be difficult about it until after the fact. Maybe you can actually shovel bounce on the open book and use it as a way to like. Can? Yeah. Um, that'll give you. Like, oh, two right. Points. It'll actually boost you further up. That makes sense. I, I guess. You know, since you're bouncing on that, you're constantly refreshing the timer. But now it's like it's ticking again. Oh no! Oh, that, was close. that was very close. Oh, I'm so close to the end of this. Cloudcraft wants you to notice a fishing spot. I think you want to notice getting close to the end of the map. <laughs> yeah, it would probably well beyond whatever fishing spot he noticed. Oh no, oh, there, there it right is. There. That was up in there, actually. Yeah, let's you do have it. To change your angle oh, up here. Right. So it's like pause, uh, relics. Yeah. yeah, very old school, right? Not that old school, but yeah. we didn't have enough buttons back then. We had to like go to menus. The bumpers like might that. cycle through those. Don't take me, Knight. I have a gift from the Trouble King. Oh, but you don't have a Trouble Chalice. Return when you have one. So, oh, gosh. I think we can meet him after this level. I'm not quite sure. The Trouble King is one of those just. So I think I, I, I super absurd. You've probably seen things about him on the internet. No, I saw I saw him when we, we met him. Oh, I missed that. remember when you taught me how to pronounce Trouble? That wasn't the Trouble King. Oh, that was, that so was his, singing that was about a, the Trouble King? That was an acolyte. His bard or something? More or less. Just level time. Barely. Oh, oh my gosh. Damn you cauldrons of fire that never seem to run out. Oh. The music seems much longer than the voices, says the Joker. Oh, the our voices as people or the word sounds oh. in the game? You said the music is too loud? The music is louder than our voices. Oh, okay. Let's, uh, let's, let's take that down a little bit. Cool, we didn't need focus. There we go. See if that's any better for you. Testing, testing. Oh, come on. Oh yeah, I keep, need, I need to not do that. It's like when you see those at all, you need to suppress your desire to just keep going to the right and wait for them to fire. There we go. I jumped, I jumped! Now that, that's an old school thing right there. That sentence, that experience, uh, that moment. Uh, it's like a hundred NES games. I just think of all playing this kind of crap with my cousins as kids and, just, and we were all completely convinced that the game was cheating and decided not to reflect our, our jump button press. Yeah, seriously. Because I mean, what other explanation could there be? Except for it's like frame by frame specific input and we just weren't fast enough. But we didn't want to admit that then. There you go. Okay. Yes. 
Checkpoint, uh, checkpoint, 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 checkpoint. Oh god. Food? Uh, oh, food. this is almost definitely right before the boss, so I think you'll get a checkpoint right after this. I hope so. That's, again, another super old school thing, right? Is, um, giant pile of food equals boss soon. Jump behind those flags, by the way. I'm pretty sure there's money or something. Oh! Whee! Jump, land, jump, jump. Don't run on single block platforms. Oh no, I'm wrong! Okay, you found the magic block. Hmm. Let me, uh, switch my thing. Not that it's actually, I'll probably save that for whatever boss I face. They do a little bit of quote unquote anticipation by having him open his mouth like a second before he shoots. What was that? If you stand right in front of him for too long, he'll do a, like a, a, a very lazy snooty hit. claw swipe. A, bleh, bleh. This is sort of too good for you. Yeah! And then no, he died in the middle of chicken. There's the pre boss checkpoint. All right, here we go. Can we do this? He's not the hardest boss. This might not need to be the hardest boss to um, defeat me. There's an interloper. I'm no more an intruder than you. You're not even a real king. Oh, but you're mistaken. The enchantress saw me for my fabulously regal self, and now all bow before me. You're not but a decadent dandy. Prepare to taste justice. Shovel justice. Silence! It is, it is now time for Ow! Ah, yes, the classic first boss attack of jump around a lot. Ow! Now I know what that is. Yep. Oh. Watch out, the confetti hurts. Oh, why is it confetti? What's wrong with this man? That's an excellent question. He's the, like, all-ego, no-delivery boss. I was just relying on my, um... Oh, yeah. Well, there we go. I've learned something. Yeah. That I suck at this game. <laughs> like I was saying earlier, it's a game where when you get good at it, you get good at all of it at the same time. Because mostly it's about recognizing your own controls and timing and movement. But a lot of it is also boss memorization. See, I got really used to a couple of games where I actually had a um, dodge mechanic. Oh, yeah. This game's dodge mechanic oh. is jump. Yeah, so, like, tell me whether I should try to jump over him or... Or spam shots. <laughs> yeah, or, or just, or, or, like, when he's coming at me, I don't know whether to run under him or jump. Yeah, like... Sometimes I'll jump some, over sometimes I'll, Sometimes I will jump when I should have... Run, and sometimes I will run when I should have jumped. Yep. Let's just keep doing this. It actually works kind of well. Oh, the, no. He's so, I, I get him really close each time. Yeah. I would offer it's to just, play for you, but I feel like you deserve the satisfaction. Oh, no, I deserve the satisfaction. I deserve lots of things. <laughs> <laughs> Quote of the day. <laughs> Again. Ow. Okay. So. Yeah, so I keep... Oh, so I haven't even to... seen that one before. Hmm. Yeah, I'm just doing really badly now. Don't you love that, like, fifth playthrough of something where you're worse than you've oh, ever yeah. been? This definitely has the same sort of behavior Ow. Thing, like Mega Man bosses do, where sometimes you do really good the first or second time, and then you have, like, five bad playthroughs as you make incorrect assumptions about what you were doing wrong the first time. I, I didn't recognize his little... Life. I know. There's no way I'm gonna. Yeah, I'm not gonna make it. Death by confetti. There we go. That's fine. That's fine. It's okay. It's fine. Everything is fine. What is that green checkpoint all about? Uh, I think checkpoints that are more useful to you as a player are also worth more. And they display that they're worth more by having different gems inside of them. The bigger the gem inside the checkpoint, the more frustrating it will be to not have it. Ow! You just hit me again and again. Oh, I almost jumped in time. Hard credit says it's a short hop, big hop. Which I think are two different things depending if you hold the button down or just tap it. Ah. Alright. Jump. Oh! 
keep forgetting he's got that attack. Like, he'll just do it. I'll be, oh yeah, it's like the first time I've ever seen that. It's like you gotta just basically watch his character model at all times to see if, what he's trying to telegraph. So, Cloudcraft, that's definitely true that near the end of the game you get a lot of money out of the checkpoints, but not having checkpoints in those levels means you're up for like two hours of frustrating repeats. <gasps> Woohoo! All the money you need without it. And hooray! You crown! Can. Crown, 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 crown. Crown, crown, crown. I wanna get his crown. Oh, it's on the left somewhere. I wanna get his it fell crown! Off his head. I know. I want to, you're just gonna gotta do this a whole bunch of times. Oh, uh, I wanted his. I wanted his crown. Fade to. I, I've got like I've been trained by Kingdom. When I see a crown fall, oh, I'm like, going, like, I gotta get the crown. It's my only way to survive. On forced perspective, my crown. <laughs> All right, let's have a dream about my lady friend. I don't think it always happens. Sometimes he just wakes up. Hmm. Yeah. We. Because of course there's money in a room. Man, I, should, I shouldn't have been burning all those jewels anyway. That was kind of a silly decision <laughs> on my part. Cloudcraft says, I have no idea what you're talking about. I definitely didn't rage quit a no checkpoint run of the game. <laughs> all right, so that guy is basically a hammer bro from Mario World. Oh. Um, top right, you know, okay, never mind. Sorry. I was going to say we can go see High of the Trouble King. Instead, you went to a little the hammer bro bonus level thing. I thought you were pointing him out like, hey, go go do that. That was more, here is information. But I understand that they look the same at this point. Whoa, that's these, pretty cool. These are usually just like places to come earn some extra cash. Little short mini levels. And sometimes they have the little boss. Oh no! Wow, that was <laughs> like like a very narrow pit that you managed to like, perfectly zero in on. Okay, you want me to go somewhere else? Uh, go to the forest in the top right. Trying to. We will say hello to the Truffle King. Hello, Wait, what, bag man. What is he doing there? He wasn't here last time I did this. Bag fellow, something's fishy. What's that guy in town going about? You know, I want to get back here, give him a piece of my mind. Uh, try fishing here. Hmm. Then I'd have to go into this menu. <laughs> oh, I accidentally. Oh, if I push up here. Oh, can can you not actually fish here yet? I guess you got to unlock it. Huh. I thought as soon as you get that's that's the change then. I thought you could do that as soon as you. Walked in. Okay, we're doing this. Okay. I don't think I think it might have changed. Oh no, it's the same one. Okay. So what now what was this? Try, try that thing. I think it's just a bouncy ball of damage. I'll try it in a minute. Good. I'm You're so immune. glad I'm immune. Oh, but only one. I'm abruptly in the not. Of, of getting in. Ow! 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 Oh, no! Remember, when, when you get hit, you get pushed back. Right. So if you're near the end, if you're near a ledge while fighting, try not. Don't to be. be. Yeah. Okay. It's very much a oh god scramble, get out of the way. Ugh. Can I it's, even? It's 12:48, so you probably have enough time for a little mini level, but not the full set. That, that's what I was thinking. That's kind of one reason I wanted to do this was because yep. I realized sense. I don't have enough time. How did I live through that? Fortunately? Clockcraft, we already talked to that guy. Do we need to talk to him again now? It's, it's frustrating. Can I go? Yeah. Oh, go for it. Ah, it's been a while. Yeah. It's fine. I can I can play games sometimes. Bounce, 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 anger base. Right, let's see if I can get the handle on 360 controller for this. What do you usually use? I think the last time I played this all the way through was on PC. With? I just mouse and keyboard. Oh, mouse and keyboard. Oh, wow. I would have trouble playing a game of this type with mouse and keyboard. You would think so, but it's not as bad as it seemed. Or not as bad as I was afraid it might be. The sticks are like really slow to respond. Yeah, I think I had something like that in my head is what I wanted to do. <laughs> it's, it's one of those things where like you totally had the right idea, but like the, the particular little timing and frame by frame stuff can take a lot of getting used to. I think yeah. that's actually the end. Those are super short. Oh wow. Yeah, so now he's done and it says, so we're gonna go talk to that yeah, you're trouble that guy. acolyte, which is just a delightful combination of fake words. Yeah. Joker was like shades. <laughs> Joker asked him, it seems like I'm getting worse to anyone else. <laughs> <laughs> He actually just called out Kickstarter in the in the text for a second there. Oh, nice. I didn't nice. mean to blast past it. Scoop by the Gotician. Meanwhile, in the Burst Month. It's actually a 
a thing over here that I think we didn't see last time. Oh, I didn't open there that. There we go. Who is this? It's Marceline, the vampire queen. Uh, I think Mona? Mona. Oh. Because she's moaning. I suppose peaceful solitude is too much to ask for, but well, as long as I'm stranded here, shall we pass the time with a little game? Now we can play a little game. Okay. I'm gonna conjure up some things, and you can hit them towards the targets for points. You okay? <laughs> okay, let's see if I can remember how to do this well. But you know what? I feel slow to me because I'm playing the Twitch version, not the actual game on the right. Oh! I'm watching the wrong screen, and so there's like a 300 MS delay? That's better. <laughs> I have that problem a lot, actually. Yeah. Oh, no. This is like the angle that you're at versus the bottle determines where it goes, and they're worth different amounts of points. This is like a classic Zelda-style minigame. Like wow. Well, I think almost every Zelda game has had something like this. Uh, the soundtrack for this whole game is on Spotify, by the way, so if any of this sounds like something you want to be listening to more frequently, uh, go check it out. Wait, do they do they splinter when they're red? Um, the red ones, when you hit them, like, explode into six other ones. Wow. <laughs> Yawn! Yawn. Wow, well, color me impressed. You're in Money stuff! Woohoo! She's also, like, central to the plot of the Plague Knight oh, version okay. of the game. And, uh, yeah, you actually, you get to Plague Knight's base from here. Shovel Knight just doesn't get to know about that or do it. So they put it in the original Shovel Knight? They tucked it in, they, they planned the original Shovel Knight expecting to make the Plague Knight campaign because it was one of the things they funded. Like it was a bonus. Oh, bonus. gotcha. Right, so what What do we need to talk? Oh, we didn't actually buy the thing from him. Ah. That's what it is. We're gonna, we're gonna buy our Trouble Chalice because that's obviously a good life choice. Uh, a vessel for storing mythical ichor. <laughs> what a delightful noun. Oh. But where to find it? Okay, that's why. We need to actually buy that from him, which in hindsight wasn't as obvious as it probably could have been. Well, it just said buy, and I was like, I'm not going to spend money when I don't know right? what, what it is. Random. Go, Titian! Oh, is he selling more of them? Oh, they just cost way more this time. Yeah, no, no need that. Jump, jump, jump. I think we get an achievement if we... Murder children? Oh, God. We just got to screw up their toys. Or I guess I'll just ride this off the edge of the level. That's fine. <laughs> boop, boop. Boop, boop. Boop, indeed. Okay, so now the guy is gone. There we go. Behold. Uh, duh. Oh, Trouble King. <laughs> now, this is this is where we need to end the stream. I promise. Okay. Cloudcraft says we didn't read his text at all. Oh, I'm sorry. Real tickets are sort of important if you want health. Oh, no, we know we want them. It just they cost more it, than we had in money. Yeah, we didn't have enough money because I kept dying. Meh. It happens. Aid me. Oh. By the way, one thing I really appreciate, they get the grammar right. Dust thou need aid. They didn't just throw THs on the end of yeah, random they didn't words. They just like apply the filter of like fake Shakespeareanism. Yeah, yeah, stuff. nobody, yeah, nobody says dust unless they're serious. And so I, I appreciate <laughs> that. Somebody was really thoughtful about this. And we are appreciative. Which is, I get like, even when somebody's trying to be funny, for me it's so, not funny. For me it just grinds the grammatical gears in my head to have someone use that, those terms wrong. Like. I was, I was raised to be able to speak that form of English, and so it just bugs the crap out of me. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, apparently you're more occupied with another person in the room, but the other person also raised the chat. Ha! <laughs> Meta! All right, so um, it says, uh, I sense a triple chalice. I can yes. fill it with magical ichor. That's pronounced, pronounced ichor. ichor. Because my, the player might be 12 and have literally never seen the word ichor before. Yeah. I've always said ichor. Yeah, yes. I always said ichor, too, but apparently it's ichor. Yeah, I don't know. Ichor it is. Uh, Cloudcraft agrees he, too, hates fake, lazy, old-timey speech. Yeah. Let's see. Choose your i core wisely. We have a health potion, <laughs> invincibility potion, and absorb treasure potion. Hmm. Probably health? Sure, whatever. So you just keep coming back to him, basically? He's actually a vendor for potions. Um, more importantly, this, <laughs> this, is, this is the only reason I came here, and we're ending in five minutes, so I'm just going to set this down, settle in, and enjoy the show. Is it? Does he just keep going? No, it's a, just... You got to Let's check it out. <laughs> what is happening? It's, it's this dance. <laughs> How? Somebody spent a long time making this happen. A lot of people spent a long time making this happen. <laughs> Not, what is not this? even done yet. What is this game? 
This is a bunch of people who really loved what they were doing, and I just didn't have that many bosses to tell them not to. I feel like... <laughs> it's like, his eyes bulge! This is so out there. I feel like I need to label the video for this one, What Even Is This Game? Just like I did for uh, Spaceport Janitor. <laughs> Not a bad this idea. is not quite on the level of Spaceport Janitor wait. in terms of just... And that's it. Oh, so he spit I the... had to wait for the whole thing. So he could to get spit it. the I-Core into your, <laughs> into your chalice. Fare thee well, shoveled knight. Return if thou hast need of my aid again. Feet accomplished, triple acolyte. And nice. we've got an achievement. Woohoo! All right, 1256. We should probably go. All right, here you go. Do a troll. So, yeah, we're going to... So we're going to quit. We could get two chalices. One seemed enough because, really, the only important part... Was that dance? Yes, exactly. <laughs>